Cooley, and I'm here at William D. I. Adobe State Historic Park. Thank you for joining me at the Adobe today. I'd like to take you inside and show you some of the ways that early pioneers lived in California. Please come in. Imagine that you are living in this Adobe in 1852. Things were very different. One of the first things you would notice was that there was no electricity. In the pioneer times, they made candles. And what they would do is they would tie a wick to a sturdy stick, like this willow stick, and then they would heat a giant vat full of animal, melted animal fat called tallow. They would repeatedly dip the wick into the tallow and add layer upon layer onto their candle. So, in those days, you either had light from candles, you might have an oil lamp, or light from the fire. This fire was also used for cooking and heating the home. But where is the refrigerator? There is no refrigerator. So how did the pioneers preserve their foods? They air dried their foods or they preserved them in jars or they also fermented them in crocks. For meats, they used salt to draw water out of the meat or a smokehouse to also draw, dry the meat and draw water out. Much like beef jerky. Another thing that you would notice that they did not have in the 1850s was indoor plumbing. And it was a common chore for children to fetch water for the home. If you were lucky, you had a yoke like this one to make the most of your work. So you would take the yoke and, a, and two buckets and go down to the river, fill the buckets, and then put a yoke on your shoulders and then bring the water up to the home. Now, each of these buckets can weigh up to about 20 pounds each, and the yoke is about 15 pounds. So you could easily be toting 55 pounds on your shoulders. We use water for all kinds of things in our home, for drinking, washing, bathing, and cleaning. You would also need water for your animals and for your crops. Do you think that you would have to haul water more than once a day? After you finished your chores, you might want to wash up. So you would come in, you have a bucket full of water and a ladle. You would get your hands wet. And then you would use some soap, also made from tallow, to lather up your hands and then Rinse again. And dry. But what about the rest of you? Well, fortunately, we have a wash tub here for your weekly bath. And bathing then was a family affair. First, we would haul the water and heat the water, fill the tub, and then the first person in would be the father, and then the mother, and then next, the oldest child, and then down to the youngest. Sometimes the water would get so murky that people would often say, don't throw the baby away with the bath water. We would also have a wash day to wash our clothes. Again, we would fill the tub with soapy water we would use a washboard and a brush to scrub our clothes clean and some of that soap made from tallow. We'd wash the clothes and then rinse the clothes and then wring the clothes out as hard as we could and then take the clothes pins out and hang the clothes on the line to dry. Finally, what would you do if you needed to go to the bathroom? Well, you could always go to the outhouse, right? Yes, but what if it was dark, and stormy, and rainy outside? Do not fret. 
we have a chamber pot right here so that you can take care of matters inside. You can see that Pioneer spent a lot of time simply getting water and light into their homes. And these two advances in technology made our lives much easier. Thank you for coming and visiting me at the Adobe today. Please come and visit me again. Thank you.